Hey guys, we made it to the Bulls booth. This thing is enormous. Look at this. You guys have tons of bikes, whole bunch of updates. I'm with Adam Anderson, and you're in a marketing role at Bulls. Can yep. you run me? Yep, assistant manager of sales and marketing. Assistant manager of sales and on your way to full on manager of sales and marketing. <laughs> My way to the top. This video yeah. is going to push you over the top. I'm actually I'm, really excited I'm to really see excited it. about being famous, Court. We, we've been hanging out a little bit. Uh, I visited bulls in Southern California when they were first starting in, in the Americas here, I guess North America. Mm -hmm. um, and this was, actually I've heard they go back into South America. Yep, there, we, uh, our uh, general managers do a distribution in South America for a traditional line, yeah. uh, as well as, uh, and then we do traditional line uh, bulls here in the States, uh, and then we do e-bikes in, in the US and Canada. Part of the reason I'm, I'm fumbling with this a little bit is because Bulls is one of the European brands that's bringing all this cool stuff over to the States. And it's kind of interesting to see how quickly the brand has expanded. I'm seeing a ton of bikes. Do you know how many models you have this year? We went from, we introduced, uh, I think, with around 10 models. And then last year went to 25. And then this wow. year have, have added uh, another 15 to 20 models. My uh, gosh. So, yeah, we're really excited. And some of that is, so is, many. Is, is improving and expanding our frame our frame style offerings okay. with our city bikes, uh, offering three frame styles for you know multiple people with multiple abilities and, and comfort levels in riding. Yeah. So. Oh, on colors, I, this bike in particular, it, a little bit of feminine energy going on here, and uh -huh. it's exciting. Can you tell me about this one? Is Absolutely. this 2018 model? Yeah. Well, some of the feedback. The, one of the things to remember is that we we're listening to feedback all the time. You know, we're watching Electric Bike Review, Woo! and we are <laughs> and we're, we're listening to our customers and our our shop owners, our dealers, yeah. and hear what they want. And one of the things we heard is we need more uh, more women on bikes, and we need uh, more bikes that are specific for women. So this is the Aminga ETR1. Uh, cool. It's our first women specific. Uh, mountain bike offered in the US. It has 120 millimeter travel. It yeah. still has uh, the badass plus tires, yeah. uh, performance line CX. Which this is a full suspension torque. setup, full man. Suspension, this is sweet. Uh, because we know, you know, the women that we know are badasses and they uh, they love to ride and they're good at it. It has the new Bosch Purion display, which we're really excited to bring. And I can talk about this a little bit more later, but it comes equipped with Monkey Link. Uh, oh, so we'll, that's that right. Yeah, teaser well, for Monkey I, Link. I'm excited, the Monkey Link stuff is cool. Is this also, is the geometry or the saddle anything else different besides the color for yeah, women? It is, yeah. It's a, it's a women specific geometry, which gives a little bit shorter reach. Okay. Uh, for typically, you know, women have a, a, a shorter uh, torso reach. So that's, uh, we accommodate with that. Good. I, I love that. You know, this is, you are one of the more premium brands. Okay. Like that's just, that's the fact. Um, and I, I can see that like in the quality of suspension or in the components and all that. And then the frame design. So it's nice that it's not just like, yeah, we have a couple colors. It's like, no, this is, this was designed a little bit more with women in mind. Yep. Or, you know, there are some guys that have shorter reach, uh, but you know, with that, that pink, you're going to you take it on a little extra style points. You'd be very secure on that one. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Very, I very could take it on. <laughs> so what, what else we got here? Some of this looks familiar, like from 2017, maybe this one right here? Yeah, these are our, uh, our current model year. Uh, this has been our, our most popular mountain bike for the year. Followed, really? Uh, yeah, and this is the Broza, it's the, the E-Stream. Um, E-Stream Evo uh, 27.5 plus. Nicely uh, done. Yeah. Adam, some of these names are pretty long. They're pretty long. <laughs> In fact, we sometimes have to tag team uh, when we say it, like my, my colleague Barney and I have to, one of us will say half of it and the other one will say the <laughs> other half. Um, so this is a 650 watt hour battery with the Broza motor. It's 150 millimeter travel with RockShox Yari, Shimano XT. Nice. Uh, it's, an, it's an amazing setup and it's it's no wonder this has been our most popular mountain bike for the What's year. What's the price point on that one? Uh, 4700 Okay. So. Um, and similarly spec bike with the Bosch Performance Line CX, also a part of our current model year, is the 650 Plus EFS3. I like those. So this is this is from the Boogaloo, uh, yeah. sponsored by Bosch and Troy Lee Designs. This bike actually came in second uh, in the Boogaloo oh, wow. race, which was the fourth race in the U.S. Uh, fourth e-mountain bike race in the in the U.S. Uh, it's ridden, just last night, right? Uh, it's four days ago, five days ago. Oh, yeah. maybe I'm thinking Cross Vegas. There are all these Cross cool Vegas, races. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, congrats, no, second Boogaloo place. Mammoth, uh, Mammoth Mountain. Uh, this came in second place, ridden by Max Sedlak, an amazing young rider, 17 years old. Huh. Uh, and he, he dominated with this bike. He did, did okay. great. So the differences that I've noticed between like Bosch and Broza, Broza tends to be, a, it's got that belt connection thing mm -hmm. going on. So it's a little smoother and quieter. 
uh, the Bosch CX motor is, it's their higher torque motor, so it's up to 75 Newton meters, but Rosa says they're up to like 90. Yeah. And so they, they're, it's kind of neck and neck, and then the battery, was this the Power Pack 500 that we had on That's this? 500 watt hour. Mm -hmm. but, you know, the Broza, you guys have sort of a special design on that. Yeah. It's really, really big. It fits right into that uh, that down tube, and I feel like this was like 600 or something. Pretty pretty large capacity. Yeah, it's a 650 watt hour. Wow. Um, which the manufacturer stated range in optimal conditions is 137 miles. Okay. Now, realistically, I mean, if you think about your typical mountain ride, you're maybe going 10 to 15. Your typical e-mountain -mount, e bike ride, you could be going at least 30 or 40 miles. Not a problem on this uh, e stream. Need to see that. So, you know, we've caught up a little bit and, and reintroduced bulls for people who aren't as familiar with it. Mm -hmm. um, it is, I've heard it's kind of like a manufacturer group brand or something in Europe. Is there anything else you care to say about the company before we jump into 2018? Sure. Well, I think uh, one thing to, to keep in mind is part of the soul of, of bulls. Uh, it did start as a dealer cooperative where oh. dealers came together and said, why don't we build our own stuff? And so this is, this. our bikes come together with the frame and design, with the design and the engineering of, uh, of of dealers as well as professional riders who uh, who have been riding these bikes for for years and years that same technology that went into our traditional bikes that same thought and and welds and geometry informed by professional riders and the world's best engineers as we're also applying to e-bikes and so i think that's something that's really special about bulls would it be fair to say that the price is a little bit lower because when i when you first came into the united states i was like more familiar with high bike and then it seemed like bulls had similar quality but the price was a little bit lower is that still something you try to compete on or well we're not we're not competing head-to-head -head for price primarily we are, we're trying to put the best uh, bikes out there um, for people to ride and we really want people on our bikes and uh, and I think the thing to remember is we get more and more popular as people hear about our brand through through different outlets and through through local shops um, that allows us to, to actually purchase more and higher volume and it allows yeah. it keeps Economies that price down scale. and it makes yeah and it makes makes our bikes more accessible which is what we want we want okay. we want uh, anybody who wants to be on an e-bike to be able to be on uh, one of the best e-bikes in the world. Well, we didn't start with your cheapest e-bikes here, but I, sure. you know, yeah, there was some good value price stuff, and I'm yeah. noticing there's like a, it's just a kid's bike? Yeah. What's this going on a, with this? This is our, our first, uh, at least in the U.S., this is our first offering for kids. This is this is a, uh, a bike that's going to make family rides more possible, uh, our 24E. Now, wow. some 24 people, inch tires? 24 inch tires. Yeah. yeah. And some <laughs> people might think, oh, kids on e-bikes, you know, that it's, uh, but what we've done, we've taken into account that a younger rider isn't as experienced and skilled, and so we don't want them taken off with 75 newton meters of, of torque right. and 350 watts of power. So uh, we have used the Active Line from Bosch, Active That's Line right. Plus. It's a lighter, more efficient uh, motor, and it's a 250 watt with about 50 newton meters of torque. That's right. Uh, so it gets a young rider used to the benefits of uh, riding electric, but also it with a manageable power output. This is fantastic. So. Exciting to see. And a lot of these other bikes come in multiple frame sizes. It, it, with this one, the 24-inch wheels, is, it's just like kind of a, a single size. It's meant for youth. Is that how that works? Yeah, for youth. I mean, obviously, adjustable seat post. Yeah, um, you got some adjustment going on. It comes in a 32 centimeter. So this will fit uh, uh, an average kid between 10 and 12 years old. Um, feel like it'll fit It'll fit most kids. And we also just know that kids grow out of stuff really quickly. Right. Uh, so. Uh, and it's our first offering, and so we're gonna see how this goes, and yeah. and, and see what, what I'm next excited. year holds. Uh, there's yeah. only a couple other like youth sized bikes that have premium drive system. So we're talking about the Active Line Plus. Bosch also has the regular Active Line now. They are both smaller, a little bit more compact, mm -hmm. and that's the perfect for this frame size. Um, but this is using higher end stuff. The Plus has 50 newton meters of torque versus 40. The Power Pack 500 obviously bigger than the Power Pack 400. Mm -hmm. So you're getting a pretty sweet deal. Do you, do you know what the price is on that? Yeah, $28.99. Yeah. Not bad. So this is the kind of bike that would totally last. You know, we're talking about kids growing out of stuff. Mom and dad could take that battery. <laughs> and that's the same battery that's like that's right. right up here. Maybe yeah. just a different sticker. Anyway, let's keep going. So yeah. what else for 2018? All right. So a couple of things that we're excited about for 2018. Uh, let's start with Bosch. Um, and uh, Bosch, has led in so many areas. They continue to innovate their motors to build better efficiency, to cram more capacity into their battery packs. Yeah. Um, where we have seen them leap uh, leap this year is in improving their aesthetic uh, and the usability, function, and protection of the battery by bringing the power tube. So, huh. Bulls is pleased that we will uh, likely be one of the first to carry the power tube in the U.S. Uh, and this is the the same capacity, 500 watt hour battery, but integrated into the frame. Huh. Uh, 
really excited about this this development. Yeah, it's interesting because it does remind me a little bit of what you guys had done on your own with the Broza drive system. And you've got this really, it feels like aluminum skid plate on the bottom. So a lot of good protection going on. Right. And then you get that performance. Some of the other benefits that I've noticed of Bosch, it's got kind of that shift detection going on, really responsive, measuring the real speed, pedal cadence, pedal torque, a thousand plus times per second, I was told at this show. I like it, look at this a little, you've got a metal stanchion protector mm -hmm. back there. Yeah. For the for the rear shock, that's nice. Yeah. So what what model is this? What are we looking at? This is the 650 Evo AM3, the little brother of a of one that we'll see in a little bit, the 650 Evo AM4. Oh. And we'll also run an AM2. These are all all mountain bikes, so yeah. 150 millimeter travel. Uh, but with each uh, increase in number, you get an increase in specs. So oh. this uh, this is the middle uh, middle all mountain bike powered by Bosch, uh, mm -hmm. and it runs the RockShox Yari. Uh, Shimano XT, uh, RockShox Monarch, Monarch for the rear for the rear shock, and Magura brakes. So really, uh, really powerful component uh, set up here. Huh, Adam, um, I have a question. Yeah. So, you know, I noticed that the gear range on this is also really tall. It looks like it goes up to 46 tooth or something. And maybe this is an 11 speed, and you've got that that Shadow Plus clutch. That's Do you right. know much about that? I, I I frequently say like, oh yeah, it tightens the chain so you don't get as much slap. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. So the uh, when it when you have it in when you're riding trails and you're riding a little bit more hardcore, having that clutch on to tighten that chain uh, does help prevent the. It, it makes for more uh, stronger shifting, uh, tighter chain, and less slap for the chain while you're going over you know rocky terrain. Okay. Taking it off is helpful if you're going between trails and you don't need that. Uh, you get a little bit smoother, but not quite as crisp shifting. I see. Um, which, which, uh, you know, kind of it takes it easier maybe on the on drive the, train. On the drive I mean, train. let's be honest. These mid drives, you, we're talking about up to 75 newton meters of torque. Yeah. So there's there's some extra pressure on the chain, sprocket derailleur. Sure. But this does have shift detection. That's another one of the mm -hmm. Bosch like differentiators. And I love that. Uh, what's this all about? Is this for so a bottle cage? That's another uh, another teaser for the Monkey Link. Uh, oh, setup. okay. So well, well, we'll get we'll to that then, that. right? So. The other thing I want to say, uh, Court, about the uh, about Bosch's innovation is that you know you spoke, talked about the shift detection. Well, one of the things, one of the applications for their shift uh, for their shift detection, as well as their speed, cadence, and torque sensing, is the new. Um, we'll have to do a different. different that's one. all right. Is their new EMTB mode? Uh, the oh, that's right. Yeah, you, yeah here we. I know about EMTB yeah, mode. Yeah. Is there another display? Yeah, this one. This that one was out of battery. So we're gonna find another. EMTB mode. This one should know. I think this one. I think it's set up. This one. Wow. This one's sweet. This is the AM4. This is the highest end, isn't it? There we go. Oh so, yeah. Oh, there it is. All right. So here's the EMTB mode. So typically you had Eco Tour Sport Turbo on the Bosch, right? Yeah. Well, Bosch decided why not, why not have an automatic shifting so that you don't even have to think about it during your ride. So you have Eco's Tour EMTB mode nice. and then Turbo. What EMTV mode allows you to do is it acts as, a, as an automatic shifting because, as you mentioned, it's reading over a thousand things per second, including you know having to do with your cadence, torque, speed, uh, and shifting. And it toggles based on your riding style uh, and terrain uh, between one and four. Right. So you have, if you need turbo and your torque is, is telling the motor, oh, we need a little bit more. Uh, then you get a little bit more going up and over a hill. If you're perfect going through for a rock wheelies, run. I've used it and it just it's great because it ramps right up. Like it's mm -hmm. it's almost more like relying on torque, and then you don't have to worry about clicking while you're riding. So that's and thanks the same, to the overview. Yeah, and at the same time, it backs off if you're going through a rock garden or going through a, a hairy section. It doesn't punch you through it, um, you know, and, and make you lose control. It's critical for especially mountain bikes, and if you're going all mountain up, down, and possibly on some unstable, that's right. rigorous terrain like that yep. technical terrain, I should say. Absolutely, it's very responsive. Yep. Huh. And you've still got the big, you know, all, most of your bikes that I've seen, you, you have a lot of mountain bikes and you've got this nice chain ring, like almost mm -hmm. a bash guard, keeps the chain on track. Yep. You got your slap guards and stuff. So attention to the details. This XTR, it looks like it also has a Shadow Plus. I haven't, yes. this is a really nice derailleur. I haven't even seen that one before. Yeah. So this is the XTR. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's the top of the line for Shimano. It's, okay. Uh, so this is our top of the line uh, Bosch Drive. Um, all mountain bike. How much is this, dare I ask? So this is 7,400. Oh boy. It comes with the Fox Factory 36 series. What does uh, that Fox mean, Fox Bowl? Factory? What is that, just custom? It comes from the Fox Factory. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Where did the other ones come from? Uh, I don't know. 
Oh. Well, I have heard that, Maybe yeah, they, this is like their signature higher end series. Yeah, this, uh, is, this is a really amazing setup. Um, and also, as as for most of our 2018s, coming with the dropper seat post uh, and uh, equipped with monkey links. So is this the chance to tell this me is, about monkey this links? This is the monkey link opportunity. <laughs> so monkey, li monkey link is a system that runs power um, from the battery through the motor to the rest of the bike ah. that allows for a couple things. It allows for magnet, uh, uh, magnet technology. So this is a hmm. this is a magnet that holds your water bottle on securely and comes. It's an easy on, easy off. Wow. Uh, and holds securely. That. Wow, it feels cool. Holds securely. <laughs> the other thing that we can do with it, it work upside and down. I'll show you up here. Nope. Oh, it's Maybe. even no, huh? No, it's, it's a positive it must negative. Be purposely, huh? <laughs> these guys, they've done it all. So, and now we have by just using the computer uh, for Bosch, and this will work on our other ones too. You turn on a light. Wow. But this light, because you don't always want a light on your mountain bike, it comes off easily and then snaps back into place it's magnetic. with that magnet. And this is being powered off, off the battery. Exactly. Wow. Is this the power tube 500 here? Yes, that's right. This is. So uh, you're able to take advantage. I and mean, LED lights don't take that much energy anyway, but just the convenience factor. I love that you've mounted it up here on the handlebar so when you steer and also you know sometimes i've seen bikes where they mounted it on on the sliders mm -hmm. or what i don't know whatever that's Stanchions, called yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and it and it bounces all over the place so this is is this the other monkey link? yeah and so uh the, the back will work similarly and it also works uh if you want to take it off uh monkey link will likely be having um accessories that attach to backpacks and helmets. Oh, so and you fenders. I've seen like a fender and fenders, thing. fenders, yeah. So this would be this would be applicable for, for most other accessories. So you can take it from your bike, put it on your helmet, backpack, um, be visible while you're riding hmm. um, for cool. just multiple ones if you wanted to. So this comes with the, the bike? Or? Yeah, so so the lights uh, are, ex are, are aftermarket, uh -huh. um, but, the, but the bikes, all our, our 2018 mountain bikes come equipped with the monkey link technology is that like this mount or what it what exactly yeah, is the so monkey link technology that What's is this that? It's the wiring uh and the receptacle for the monkey link lights oh okay well that's neat and then it's up to you like which accessories you want if any that's right yeah okay. and and likely there will be multiple lights available uh multiple strengths and uh you know you might get a you know, 75 lumen or you might be able to upgrade to a 700 lumen wow so and this is an SKS product, That's if I right. remember yeah, correctly. Be, they make these, fenders and stuff. Exactly. They they will be uh, um, supplied by SKS. Um, thinking, you know, first quarter of 2018. Okay. Wow. We're really getting. And I imagine this comes in multiple sizes. This bike usually does. It does. So. Yeah. We huh. offer three, three sizes in this: uh, 44, 49, and 54. Sweet. Uh, 44 is typically our medium. 49 large. 54 extra large. Great. Well, where do we go from here? Well, I am. Glad you asked. Let's do it. So, as I mentioned before, the uh, Eastream Evo FS3 27.5 Plus, got it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, has been our, our most popular bike of the year, uh, followed closely by the uh, Bosch equivalent 650 Plus EFS3. Huh. For this year, we have its uh, similar uh, refined Eastream Evo uh, AM4. AM meaning all mountain. That's right. And for us, all mountain is 150 millimeter travel uh, between 140 and 160. Uh, but for us, we, we kind of camp out at that 150 range. Huh. So uh, this year, though, instead of uh, RockShox Yari, we stepped it up a bit with the RockShox Lyric. We also have the new Marquat uh, display. I was going to say, this does this have like a USB? Oh, cool. So you've got a micro USB charging port. It looks like you got the up and down arrow buttons, lights, little joystick. Okay, because la last time you had that little transflective module right. thing, it looks like there's just more here. There's a little bit more going on here. There's also Bluetooth, Bluetooth capabilities, um, so a little bit more, uh, a little bit more information, a little bit more possibility, uh, which we will, you know, tap into as the as these models become available. Huh. Uh, yeah, the the older display uh, was. It provided the basic information and great convenience of being able to change assist levels on the fly. No batteries? It's coming on. No, it's coming. Oh, it is. There yeah, go. there we go. Okay, so you can see the new one, it's, it's new a lot brighter. Is, yeah, it's brighter, uh, a little easier to read, and uh, you know, a little, bit, a little bit more going on. Again, uh, dropper seat post. And, uh, monkey this, links. And the monkey link capability. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and here's, it, there's the front, so it's really compact. I just, it's neat to see this up, up close and get an idea. And that's, that's wired through the stem and head tube uh, into the motor uh, and then for the back of the seat post uh, 
you know, into, into the, the tail there. I'm noticing some differences with the battery. So is this the same capacity and what, what's physically, this has like a big rubber thing built onto it. It looks yeah. a little tougher. This is, this is a pad to protect the battery. Uh -huh. um, one of the things that, that I want to say about this, Court, is we've been listening again to you <laughs> and your audience and our customers and dealers, and that is the positioning of the keyhole. If you remember, uh, it was on the on the non-drive side, we had the keyhole here, yeah. which is in our current current model year. Uh, this year, we, we listened and we put it on the top uh, of the down tube. There it is. Right here. So it won't get sheared off if you exactly. accidentally pedal too much. That's right. So uh, allows easier access, and if you forget and leave the key in there, you're not looking at a, at a broken and, uh, key and needing to replace that. Well, is this the charging port down in here? That is, yep. So it's still energy bus? Like magnetic, uh -huh. yeah. Yep. Okay. A little, yep. little bit. So no, nothing really on the sides anymore. Is there a clip system, or how does the battery come out of the bike now? How does that work? Yeah, just uh, through the key, and it releases the bike, uh, the battery, and uh, okay. so like tips out or something. Okay. Yeah, wow. Use it from the bottom. This is a nice system too. Look at this. You got a chain keeper so that it doesn't bounce all around. That's right. um, Bosch and. Maybe Broza, it seems like they all have the single chain ring up front. Is that the case? Well, Broza, uh, up until this year, has we've run a two by 11 on our mountain bikes with our Broza. Oh. Uh, the nice thing about Broza is it allows you to do that. Um, but this year for uh, for this model, we've done the one by 11, uh, which a lot of people have asked for. It's, it's become a really popular setup. Yeah, uh, lighter, simpler. Yeah, lighter, simpler, less going on on the handlebars, which is attractive, especially when we add a dropper seat post um, having that extra, um, the uh, extra the lever and the display. Yeah, you don't want it. It gets cluttered. I right. see what you mean. Yeah. So a lot of people prefer that. It makes for it makes for a lighter bike, which on an e-bike you're not quite as concerned with, but it still makes it nice. Yeah, and I don't know what about. I was talking about. There's an example of the two by mm -hmm. over right over there. So that was last year's model, and then we go to one by. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Sure. Thank you. Oh, and then the other thing, um, the other thing that's new for Broza. Yeah. Is brand new Drive S. Now, oh yeah, I so heard about this. What Drive S does compared to other years is that uh, it uses a, a heat resistant, uh, uses heat resistant materials in the motor, and what that does is it, it increases the power by 10 to 15 percent. Because it doesn't have to worry about overheating itself as much. That's right. That's right. Huh. So the, the the motor doesn't feel like it has to calm down or back off or anything like that. So <laughs> calm down. <laughs> it maintains that. It maintains that power. Uh, over time and when you need it the most. So are those motors more expensive? Are there, what's, I don't know, what are the other takeaways? I haven't heard much about the Broza Model S. No, no? just heat oh, yeah. resistance, a little bit more powerful. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more power. Okay, well it looks, I mean, physically, the size and everything looks similar. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll have to keep my ear out, but that's, that's nice to know. Yeah. Nice to know. And the Broza system was doing 90 newton meters before, so. Yeah, and it maintains that, that uh, torque delivery, the 90 newton meters. Okay, cool, cool. What else we got? I feel like we've covered so much. So, and there's still more to come. So, <laughs> we um, we are really happy to announce that, that we are working for the first time in the U.S. with uh, Shimano E8000 motor. That's oh, Shimano Steps E8000. Yeah, yeah. This is Shimano's new mountain bike motor. Uh, we've been working with Shimano in, uh, in Europe for, for a long time, uh, and finally this year we feel really confident and, and this motor has gotten has become so popular, uh, we're excited to, to bring it to the U.S. Do you mind if I talk about some of this? Because I, I have seen this. That's the display, so it's one of the more compact displays that I've seen, and even though these look like trigger shifters for gears, those are actually like the up and down buttons, and they click. They click in. Is this is this a DI2 electronic shifting on this yeah, one? Yeah, it's fully wow. integrated DI2 electronic shifting. So rather than have a separate battery pack for the DI2, it runs right off the battery. Love that. Yeah. So it's, it's Shimano all the way. We've got That's right. Shimano Derailleur back here, DI2. That also has the Shadow Plus clutch, but it's electronic shifting, uh, and you can calibrate that through the display, and they have this Bluetooth app, the eTube app, that allows you to adjust two of the modes. There's trail and turbo that can be adjusted. And then the motor down here, I think this one peaks at 70 Newton meters. It has really high RPM sort of capabilities. Mm -hmm. I was pedaling out on the trail the other day up to like 140 RPM, and the motor was like, Wee! Mm -hmm. still, yeah. <laughs> still going for Absolutely. me. Okay guys, I'm gonna coast down this little hill, and we get to some pavement and just do some starts and stops. I am in boost mode, like the highest level.
I got up to 141 RPM and the motor was still going in that sort of like high pitched sound. Also before when you heard it like starting and stopping, that's because I was at 20 miles per hour, it was cutting out. And then I'd dip below and it would help and it would cut out. So it was really nice. I was actually able to pedal uphill faster than 20 miles per hour and I didn't feel uh, weighed down at all. Have you tried and back to back any of these these models like the with the I guess motors I should say yeah, like motors. the Broza S versus the Bosch yeah. CX and the Yamaha. So I've had a little bit of time on the Shimano E8 uh, E8000 on our all mountain bike, not yeah. on the Enduro yet. Uh, and yeah, the power delivery is very it's, it's really powerful. Uh, maybe not as smooth smooth as the Broza, yeah. uh, but it's it's really powerful, more comparative to the to the Bosch. Yeah, yeah so Bosch has this very active feel, mm -hmm. and as someone, I have a kind of a sensitive knee, so I've always liked that. And it, for technical terrain, being like able to start and stop quickly mm -hmm. is nice. So it is, it's neat to be able to look at these back to back and the Q factor on this is supposed to be, it's like 175 or something, meaning the crank arms are, aren't as spread apart as some of the other ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the Shimano, it, it, the way that it, it's one of the smallest motors and it's one of the mo most compact and narrowest and it actually uh, mimics a traditional bike more than any other motor. Oh, well so said. So you have that less, you have more clearance, um, you're not having to ride bow-legged like you might with some, yeah. <laughs> with some frames. Well, and that's um, not to say, I don't know what the Q factor is on Bosch or these other guys. Uh, but these, it's the minor things, like we're, we're starting to get a few options of really premium drive systems. That's right. So it's cool to see. I didn't know you guys had Shimano. Is yeah. this a special battery? That yeah, it is. So, so wow, Shimano, has, uh, they, they have their proprietary batteries and they also have an open system uh, that <laughs> for us allowed us to come up with twin core technology. This is a Bulls, Bulls technology. It's the twin core uh, power pack. So what this uh, this bike comes with a 375 watt hour battery, which is not huge compared to some of our other batteries. Yeah. But still, you're looking at 60 to 70 miles out of one 375 watt hour battery. Huh. But you can easily upgrade then to a second uh, one, exactly the same that goes in the other side, uh, giving you 750 watt hours of uh, of battery capacity. Wow. What's, is there like a shield or what does it look like if you don't have the second battery? In? So yeah, there will be a cover and if you don't have the second battery, it, it'll function as a storage container oh. is, with storage capacity. There's enough room in here, you can see, uh, to put an extra tube, a mini pump, maybe a banana. Yeah. I, I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities. <laughs> so many possibilities. <laughs> some cinnamon toast crunch or maybe yeah. some apple jacks. There you go. I'll toss them in there. This there is this go. is neat, man. So and it, it reduces the weight. Like for me, as yeah. someone who I don't need that much power. I'm like 135 pounds. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So having a smaller battery that is going to be a little bit lighter is perfect. Yeah. I'm glad to see that option. Well, and the other thing to remember is this is a this is an enduro. This has 180 millimeter uh, travel. Uh, it's a very high performance machine. And what we're finding out too is when these are in these EMTB races, uh, these are short races that don't require a huge battery. Oh yeah. So having that, saving that weight, uh, having a greater you know amount of agility and being able to control the bike a little bit more with a lower weight while still being an, an electric bike with big tires being able to stick to the trail is a huge advantage in, in a race or performance uh, scenario. Well I like it's neat to see some different options. This one do you have any comments on this suspension design versus that looks like the four bar horse link. It, I, I like that there's room for a bottle cage but mm -hmm. this looks stronger <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah well this is meant for the for the increased travel for for the 180 millimeter travel. Uh, uh, gives us a little bit more space to work with rather than the up down of this triangle. Uh, and the geometry just being able to su sustain uh, larger drops and jumps. Uh, would this be like a downhill bike then? Close, close you... to a downhill bike. So the, you know the enduro being just below uh, a downhill uh, and it's like all mountain over here? Yeah, right, so all mountain. AMT. All mountain can hit the, hit the uh, enduro slopes, but not quite as comfortably as a, as a pure enduro. And then uh, from there you go, you move from, you know, six to seven inches of travel, or how we say, 180 millimeters of travel. Uh, okay. And that, then you're talking about 10 to 12 inches of travel on a downhill bike. Oh, man. So, um, this is like really a light downhill bike here. Yeah, where this is going is we're eliminating the need for a ski lift. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. You can cruise up and yeah. then just bomb it down. That's right, that's right. Wow, well, 
what else do we have? I mean, there's a whole like urban section over there. Urban, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's just go. We can breeze through this. I've reviewed a lot of the the bikes. It seems like some of them are being carried forward, just maybe with the updated yeah. motors or yeah, a little bit, a little bit updated. So uh, this is our currently available uh, model year 17 Lacuba Evo E45. This has been hugely popular. 28 mile an hour city bike. That's Thank nice. You. Speed Pedelec. Exactly. Uh, this this bike is Lacuba Evo 45S, which is uh, in in some respects the same bike. It's a speed pedelec with the Broza motor, uh, with the updates that we mentioned before, the different key port, um, six, still the 650 watt hour battery. I want to get closer here, on this. We've, we've, uh, yeah, this one has a cover on it, so it just... Okay, sorry. Right. <laughs> so what you've done yeah. here... So, <laughs> yeah, uh, and then uh, we moved from the Shimano XT to the Shimano Dior, uh, which has allowed us to bring the price down and, you know, little little things like that. We okay. still have the performance and the quality, uh, but it's a little bit more accessible. What is the price on this new one here? Uh, $38.99. Oh, okay, so we're so under four. Down, down a couple hundred from the, the previous year. This was a popular one because it's yep. so approachable, and yep. you can see this is a really comfortable saddle, the ergo grips, more of an upright, mm -hmm. and that one, it's, you've just got that adjustable stem. Right. So, a lot of comfort yeah, options. So a couple of things. And then we have also added this wave option on the on the 28 mile an hour uh, version, where previously we had the diamond and step through frame, now we add what we call the wave frame, which mm. is this one here. Yeah, I like, it's feeling pretty stiff too, like as a, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> has a mid-drive and then a center-mounted battery pack. Um, I know I think about that sometimes because there's the wave frames are popular, but you want you're going faster. It's nice to have a bike that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a jerk. Gosh, what was I doing? Oh, we got the mixed D frame right here on this one. So this is uh, this is what we call the step through frame, uh, and this is our Bosch Performance Line speed motor uh, on a on a very similar bike to you might remember our Cross Light E, yeah, which yeah. is our current model year, uh, still available. And it's a great bike, and it's a uh, but it's one of our 20 mile an hour bikes. This is uh, with the Bosch speed motor, so it's a 28 mile an hour with the Bosch, uh, and it has the new Purion display, so more compact. Um, Great, really, acce really accessible, really convenient. Um, a little bit more comfortable seat as well, which we're excited about, and an adjustable stem. Hmm. Uh, so this bike can fit a, a variety of size riders. Um, so it, uh, it comes in two frame sizes, and uh, but with the adjustable seat, of course, and adjustable uh, handlebars and stem, you can uh, fit a variety of different size people. It looks like a super commuter, man. Yeah. Now you've got that great like rack setup going. You've got some comfort, and right. then the speed. It's neat to see some and more speed pedal and, and three frame yeah. options in that one. Not as to well. forget everything else. Everything else. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What is this? Uh, I always got to point out the bell. This is the 650TR Street. Wow. Um, so oh man. Alloy fenders. Okay, go ahead. All right. So you may remember from last year we have the 650E2 Street. That's been also a very popular uh, speed bike with the Bosch Speed, um, uh, Bosch Performance Line Speed. Uh, that was a basically the hardtail version of this. Yeah. This, this is, is full, full suspension, suspension with the rack and fenders. Yeah. Ridiculous. So we oh, blew, man. Just blew out all the stops with this one. Full suspension commuter bike. Yeah. Uh, with our true urban assault vehicle, uh, if there ever was one, even with a remote lockout, uh, shock lockout. Well, the comfort's a big deal when you're going fast, and then being able to That's take right. weight off of your back and put it. This is this has got to be one of the coolest looking bikes I've seen. Forty six ninety nine, through axle up front. I don't know if this mm -hmm. is on the back. It might even be. Yep. Is this the Supermoto X tires? That's a good uh, good comfort option, stability. What is this? Two point four. Yeah. I was curious. I don't know if you know if this is boost or not. It's two point four, so the plus. It's not plus size. Not quite plus size. Mm, no, not not plus. I don't size. Know, I'll review it at some point. I'm sure. Get some more details. What else we got? Should we? Yeah. Well, let's uh, stay over here real quick. And this is our this is our new Urban Evo. So you oh. see, this is a this is also kind of a super commuter, uh, 28 mile an hour uh, speed bike with the uh, with the performance line speed from Bosch, um, 500 watt hour power tube. Uh, power tube. Yeah. Uh, so this is our first. Uh, power tube uh, equipped city bike. Uh, really excited about this. Shimano Dior, 65 millimeters of travel with the NRX uh, S Sun Tour fork and um, pure on display and a supernova headlamp. I'm curious why this one, this is like the super expensive fancy one. It doesn't have the power tube. It's, I guess it's not that much more expensive, but you get the full suspension. I wonder if, yeah. you know what I mean? Like $300, $300, uh, $300 difference um, in, the, uh, in the MSRP. And uh, the thing to remember with this one is we also, uh, 
it's kind of older brother uh, is the daily grinder, which That's is our current right. model year. I love the that bars, the DI2 shifting, yeah, uh, 900 lumen supernova headlamp. Uh, and so for this one, it's the same capabilities, um, sleeker look with the power tube uh, and, and Shimano Dior. So we, we kept the same, again, the same engineering, but slightly heavier materials in the group set. Um, Are there any drop bar models this year? Well, we don't have any new uh, drop bars, but we still have the daily grinder. Are you available. carrying that one forward? Or? Uh, yeah, it'll be available uh, through most of the year. Okay, good to know. Yeah, yeah. This, so that's interesting. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess we keep going. Look at this beauty. Wow, it's like kind of a pearl color or something. The Cruiser E. What's uh, what's so, the story? Yeah, the Cruiser E is uh, is our sexy bike for this year. Oh so, boy. Bosch Active Line Plus. There we go. Uh, wave frame, low step through frame, uh, wheel lock, but good rim brakes. Yeah. And, uh, and the 500 watt hour Bosch uh, rack power pack. And it looks like internally geared hub. So right. a lot of times in like the Euro spec is kind of. Uh, you know, hydraulic rim brakes here, and then maybe it cleans up the rear ends mm -hmm. since you're using an internally geared hub. I don't know. Sure. Why else would you? Do you have any comments on hydraulic rim brakes? I don't. No. Okay. That's <laughs> just those are my own my own theories. And then yeah. look how thoughtful this is, you guys. So it's kind of a beautiful bike with the matching touch points, a big comfortable saddle with the springs and the leather grips, uh, swept back <laughs> handlebars with adjustable reach, just the easy adjustable reach, this little knob here. So, I mean, this is kind of a girl's bike, okay? I'm just gonna say it. Sure. It's beautiful, it's classy looking, you know, yeah, anyway. But sometimes girls have smaller hands, so it's like you can bring those brakes in and really set this up right. Yeah. Are there multiple sizes? Like, kicking over the sign again here. Yeah, it comes in 45, 50, and 55 centimeter. Wow, that's uh, fantastic. And then the wheel size, so this is 700C, so that's we right. got the little bit bigger, more efficient, reflective. Nice stuff. It's $32.99, okay. Sweet, oh boy. We'll just leave that. <laughs> Somebody will pick that up later. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. <laughs> one of us will. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. Uh, next this looks have, familiar. This is uh, one of our. This is our most economical offering, the Cross E. Okay. Uh, this comes with the Bosch Active Line, uh, and comes in three different frame sizes. Uh, makes use of the Intuvia display. So ah. this is the previous display. I like that. Yeah. Bigger. You know, if you're, it's got the USB charging port on it. That's and right. I notice you've still got a lot of these great accessories. Yeah like the frame lock, a mini pump, right. and then the whole rack battery so it frees up the center of the frame. Exactly, yeah. Huh. Uh, and it also comes with the adjustable stem, which is really important, again, fitting a variety of riders. Uh, it still has a 65 millimeter uh, front fork. And uh, also, as, as I've said before, uh, most of these, if they come in a, a wave, with the exception of the cruiser, cruiser E that we just saw, they come also in the multiple frame styles, like the step through and the diamond. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, so, cool. Uh, on the step through and the diamond for both this and the Cross E8 that we'll look at in two seconds, um, the, the battery comes on the down tube with those other frame styles. Oh. So, so that, you know, when you ride, it's, it's here so that when you step over, you're not gonna kick the battery. And, and That's nice, because I've actually seen other companies where they always put it on the back rack, and to be honest with you, if you can move that weight down and center, sure. that's ideal for handling. But this is set up to be more of a accessibility, exactly. You know, lower standover uh, right. height. Doesn't, doesn't clutter up the aluminum area. Huh. So great. the Cross E8, the main difference is for this one is you have a welded aluminum frame. Oh. Uh, you have uh, the same Bosch Power Pack, and you have the Active Line Plus, which, as we mentioned before, is a lighter, smaller motor. Um, that's kind of the more mellow, more efficient motor from Bosch. Huh. And before. what was this over here? This that's is the Active Line. Well, yeah. this is correct me if I'm wrong. I was I was at the Bosch booth and I thought for 2018 they had a smaller Active Line and Active Line Plus. They both look like that. So this is just like the older version of the Active Line, and it I probably right. has 48 right. newton meters of torque. And the new one, they dropped the Active to 40, and then the Active Line Plus is about 48, 50, 50 sounds, right? So sounds about right. Whatever. I, I'm just kind of like thinking out loud here because. Um, you know, there's there's different price points, and you said this one's the more value price, twenty seven ninety nine. Mm -hmm. So that's your starting point. Yep. And then how much do you have any idea how? Uh, this one's thirty one ninety nine. Thirty one. We're we're so, getting. It's been a long day. <laughs> and it, what does this come with it, or why is this here? Uh, to show capabilities of what you can put on your like bike. Like you can still barely fit a bag in there. Still put a bag in the back. <laughs> Uh, well also done. Adjustable stem. Okay. And, uh, Quill stem. Yep. Yeah. Goes up and down, and it swivels. 700 C tires, and again the the rear wheel lock. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Quick release. You got kickstands and everything. All right. 
And lastly, the, the newest iteration, the Lacuba Evo E8. So this was one of our most popular bikes, our, the most popular bike for uh, 2017 was the Lacuba Evo E8. This year, very much the same. Uh, internal Shimano uh, Nexus hub. Yep, right back here. Uh, and this year with a chain instead of the belt drive, also an adjustable stem and the you know Broza 250 watt uh, motor with a 650 watt hour battery. So why chain instead of belt drive? Because some people are like, oh, it's so quiet. And belts yeah. do tend to be more durable, but you need a custom frame cutaway. So is that yeah. more expensive? Is yeah. this cost savings? Or? Yeah, I think it was a little bit cost. It's a little bit cost savings, and it, and it has to do with ease of maintenance as well. That's um, true. When you if you have to you know remove the rear tire, it's a little bit harder. Uh, if you have a if you have a belt drive. Well, and the good news is there's still only one sprocket back there, so mm -hmm. that chain is super tight. Yeah, really tight, and it's not gonna like bang around or right. really need that much maintenance. I think people are excited about belts a lot of times, mm -hmm. but it's this is this still achieves a lot of that same yes. like quiet durability. Exactly. Uh, and then the Inter8 or whatever, we got the grip shifter, adjustable display up here. This is the display that looks like it's removable but isn't. Yeah. yeah. I don't think so. Oh, it is? Oh, wow, you're just full of surprises. Maybe I was wrong about the active line motor. I don't know, we'll see. Please comment, if I was wrong, tell me. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> and then that motor, what, what is this? This is our last bike here, what's going on? Uh, this is the, the current model you're looking at. Oh, we looked at it on the other side, yeah. yeah it so looks, it's a speed pedal. This is its better side, maybe. Maybe oh, that's why yeah. you're confused. Bro. I like this side, yeah. it's been good. It's got a nice profile. I've had a blast with you. We've walked through the incredible lineup of bikes, 2018 seems like an excellent year for you guys. Yeah. Do you have anything else to share about that year? Well, Any updates? We're really excited. I mean, we have a, a lot of cool innovations that we're adding to our e-bike line and uh, and we, yeah, come out and ride them. Uh, try them at the indoor track. Uh, some some of them are available. bike will be over by the time this goes live. Yeah, Adam. don't do that then. <laughs> go uh, to your dealer. Yeah, you guys go to your are local growing dealer, your, your try dealer network, are, right? Uh, we'll have rolling availability on, on these bikes um, through 2018. Are yeah, you in like the e-bike expo or anything like that? Where yeah, we, through uh, through the rest of this year we'll be in the e-bike expo. Okay. Um, I anticipate we'll be involved with it in uh, 2018 as well. Yeah, okay, well great. I've had a lot of fun checking this stuff out. What's the website? Bullsebikes.com. Okay, is that the US site? That is. Okay, sweet, yeah, cool. I think that's it, guys. Whew, we made it. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Court.